Hey folks, how you doing? I'm Tim Black. You're tuning in to Tim's Take Live, and I am your news ninja. Now, why do I say I'm the news ninja? I am the news ninja because I cut through the mainstream BS. I cut through the bullshit. Now, speaking of bullshit, let's get right to Mimi Faust and Nico and the sex tape that was somehow leaked to the porn companies. Getting like like you know like a sex tape is left on the doorstep somewhere and someone finds it like you just happens to trip over your sex tape no Mimi Faust and Nico we know you sold it to the porn company you had to sign documentation rights away you had to you know they're, they're doing this for you so it's a little disingenuous for you to act like this thing oh my god I don't know where they got this tape from all right so that's the other thing well, another thing about this whole tape thing. It's a big buzz because Mimi Falls is 45 years old and she looks better than a lot of 25 year olds. Because there are a lot of bust downs nowadays is running around, having multiple kids, bodies look shot. All right, so Mimi Falls looks good for 45. Give it up for Mimi Falls. I'm not one of these people who feel like we need to like somehow watch over everyone and then shame them for what they do. No, but what I don't like is when people get on these shows and they act like they don't know why she did it. They ask dumb questions like, I wondered why did she do this? What does this say about reality TV? Nothing. What does this say about black women? Nothing. What does this say about the culture, the state of culture in America? It says nothing. It says that this woman, Mimi, and this guy, Nico, would like to get paid. It says, give me money. It says, I want to have a career. It says, I wanted to sell my soul. Look, when did it become a new thing for these fuckheads to say, you know what, I'm willing to do anything to make some money. There are people on the street right now doing jobs they hate. Hate, detest. They feel physically ill going to work every day. But they do it. And you don't go up to them and say, why do you do that? Why are you doing this job that you hate? You're a bill collector for Comcast. Don't you hate it? How, why do you do it? It would be a very simple answer. Now, I'm sure that person who's collecting bills for Comcast didn't dream of growing up and being a bill collector for Comcast. But they are. So I don't think we need to hold quorums on why Mimi False is taking her clothes off and getting pounded in the bathroom, holding on to a shower rod. Um, the whole, what does this mean for black people? What does this mean? I'm, I'm tired, you know what? We as black people will never find equality in America until the day when we can shame ourselves publicly, just like white people do, just like Latinos do, just like Filipinos do, and it'd be okay. And not have people on Huffington Post, Huff Post, Black Voices, and the, 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 uh, the BET and OWN, everybody coming together to form Voltron to try to break down what's wrong with us. When Kim Kardashian did it, it wasn't speaking for all, about all white women or all half white women or none of that. It was just speaking for Kim Kardashian. We said Kim Kardashian is a hoe. Right or wrong, we blamed her. When Tila Tequila did it, we didn't, we didn't blame all Asian girls. We just said Tila Tequila is, is uh, willing to do anything for money. When Paris Hilton did it, we didn't say all oh, white girls are trash. We just said Paris Hilton is. So why is it whenever somebody black does something, we got to act like it's their whole race and we got to stand up. And that's that's why people say black people are very racist. Because whenever one of us does something, everybody wants to form Voltron and try to make it a big issue. It's just Mimi Foster, just one 45-year-old woman who finally got, got something going on in her career and she's trying to make something out of it. Now, whether you agree with it or you don't agree with it, whether you think she got a nice ass or you don't, or you like her skills or you don't, that's besides the point. It's something people do all the time. Is Do I agree with it? I'm not saying I agree with it or disagree with it. What I'm saying is that's the market at work. That's what happens. So we need to lay off it. Stop making the shit bigger than it is. It's not that big a deal. I'm talking about it because it's trending now. I talk about trending now topics on this segment. And besides, I'm good at it. Fuck you. I'm Tim Black. I am your news ninja. Tune in. Subscribe. Do what you got to do. Also, that's my first t-shirt, the news ninja. Tim Black news ninja. Be a news ninja. Support me as your news ninja. Go to my store. Pick up a shirt, why don't you? Or pick up a poster. Do something. We're just getting this thing kicked off. We're going to have a lot more styles coming up. Thanks for watching. Be a part of the truth movement.
Ladies and gentlemen, that is what you call dumb news.